what is the minimum amount of money Bob needs to spend in order to pay for items worth N dollars without using any of the K digits that he dislikes. Step 1. Understand the problem. Bob needs to pay an amount N for items he bought, but he cannot use certain digits which he dislikes. We need to find the minimum amount he can pay without using those dislike digits. Step 2. Identify the inputs and outputs for the function. The inputs are the amount N, the number of disliked digits K, and an array D containing the disliked digits. The output is the minimum amount Bob can pay without using the disliked digits. Step 3. Consider the constraints of the problem. The disliked digits can range from 0 to 9, and the amount N can be any positive integer. The number of disliked digits K can also vary. Step 4. Think about a strategy to solve the problem. One approach is to incrementally increase the amount n until we find a number that does not contain any of the disliked digits. Step 5. Start with a given amount n and check if it contains any disliked digits. If it does not, then n is the minimum amount Bob can pay. Step 6. If the amount n contains any disliked digits, increment n by 1 and check again. Repeat this process until you find a number that does not contain any disliked digits. Step 7. Once a valid amount is found that does not contain any dislike digits, return this amount as the minimum amount Bob needs to pay. Step 8. Implement the function with the above logic and test it with various inputs to ensure it works correctly. Step 9. Optimize the function if necessary. For example, if the dislike digits are many or if the number n is large, incrementing by 1 and checking each time might be inefficient. In such cases, consider a more efficient way to skip numbers that will definitely contain the select digits. Step 10. Finalize the function, ensure it meets the problem constraints, and handles edge cases appropriately.